Hello, these are all one deal. All five-year-olds raised here on the ranch. Hey, they're all five-year-olds now, huh? They're all five. Uh, uh, a couple younger, but most of them are all five-year-olds. Oh, you're man. See that? Eight of their hips means born in 2008. Spring-born calves, good-sized calves. I'll video those in a little bit. They just separate them. 26 of these pairs. These all be, should all be right back. Brain is this group, huh? They should all be right back. Brain is correct. Greg Brain is a few of our clients. I send stuff to. I sold. I took a video of these girls last, in the first part of summer. And I kind of forgot about my rancher. Called them a couple of weeks ago and mentioned to me again. Oh, yeah. But lots of group, um, good country. So nice range. Got the gentleman as you want them. Uh, again, I have more video I took last earlier in the summer. Part of summer. You know, really good nature cattle. They're all one iron guys. I don't hard to find one iron cows these days. All one iron, all carry eight. Either he raised these as heifers or then he bought some as 400 pounders and raised them with his heifers. So, yeah, it runs Brangus bulls back on crossbred cows. So, Brangus and Brave for cows. That's one of those Brangus bulls there. You get to use some nice Brangus bulls there. Three of these bulls are exposed back to go. <laughs> so, in theory, we think these all should be bred back. Get cows in prime of their life, raising really nice calves. These calves are all weaning size, you know. We debated probably weaning the calves off of them, but a few of my clients uh, wanted pairs. So he's been gracious enough to leave them on, just maybe sell them as pairs. But we're not say, afraid to sell these nice calves and strip them off and sell them as breads either. Because these girls should be bred up kind of three to five months, I would think. You know, young cows raised here on the ranch. Let me get in their calves now, guys. Oh, the pins aren't in, we're, got lots of rain, so we're not mad about that by any means. It's hard to, <laughs> muddy pins, uh, jump in here. Ugh. Got about five inches the past three days in this ranch. Wheat's looking good, it boys, to green it up. Uh, let me see. Couple smaller dudes in here, 200 pounders. Most of these calves are good size. Walk on by, calves. Walk on by. All right, here's those springborn calves off the Brangus cows. I took a video of some nice sized calves. Bulls been out since March, huh? Ken? Yeah, but this is March. Calves weigh probably 375 average. It's kind of a close proximity to these pins. There's a lot of these calves guys that are worth $800 today, $800 plus today. A couple small ones, about three of these calves weigh about 200 Majority of these calves are more like the Charlie calf there. I stopped bringing this calf there. Again, we're in a tight confines here. Good yellow calf. Again, there's three of these calves way in the 250 range. And most of them are 400 pounds up. Hey, calf, walk on, calf. Again, we're in pretty tight quarters here. Walk on. Okay. Next year, I'll be bringing these calves. Again, these cattle are all, their moms are all one ironed. I'll, be, I'll get some more video of those girls right now, put them together. Three of these calves weigh in the 250 range, and most of these girl calves are 400 pounds up. 400 pounds up. But nice calves, the calves all sell great. The cattle are good cattle, all home raised. Uh, next year, they have all bringing these calves. Again, these calves are definitely worth something in the current market. They're definitely worth some money. And we, we assume these cattle are bred back because, you know, even, the, even the, these, these 200 pound calves, they're four months old. So her moms are, you know, they're, they're old enough to breed back or far enough along from calves. They should be bred back too. So, again, there's one, two, there's three of these calves of that size, but they're not tiny by any means. Anyway, let's go in the back of the trap and video some more of these. Their mamas. But nice calves. Again, next year they'll all be at Brangus calves. There's nice reds and Charlie crosses and steel and all the rest will be bringing us. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to that before. We go so much. No, 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 no. That's just like the cow. It's on one video. Mr. Ke say it. I can. Mr. Kenny. Cattle man deluxe. Cattle man indeed. Anyway. Uh, I videoed these girls a few months ago, back in the first part of the summer, like June. 
uh, and those calves were little, I kind of forgot about it. He called, hey, what about my calves? My pears on the other ranch. Oh, yeah, I forgot about them. So here's a video of these girls again. They're all five-year-old. Either he raised these cows or bought them their little heifers, four weights, and all raised together. They all carry his brand and your brand. They're Brangus, commercial Brangus mamas out of Brangus cows or F1 Brayfords. Sorry about Brangus bulls. He does run some good Brangus bulls back with him, so we assume a really good breed up on these girls. Good natured, as you probably see Kenny. Kenny weighs about 400, so they're cattle docile. He pins them all, he takes care of them, so you know, they're good natured cows. He's a good hand. Anyway, nice group of 25 pairs, all five years old, with really fancy calves bred back to Brangus bulls. You know I am. I'm Clayton the Hobbits. Thanks for your time. Bye.